nothing zuzy here um coming up to make another video about reading sorry i'm just i just got out of the shower i need to fix my hair so anyway so last week i did a reading and i got a lot of um feedback on them and a lot of people actually enjoyed the reading and said it resonated with them now mind you today's wednesday i'm off on wednesdays for my my full-time job which i'm a hairstylist but um in the meantime i figured that every wednesday i'll post a video and call it um Wednesday weeklies um, by All Things Zuzu. So if you are watching this on Instagram TV, please uh, follow my Instagram account so that way um, you can be updated um, every week on the readings that I do. And if you want um, further services, personal services, uh, please contact me. We can discuss and arrange things. Um, as well as if this is something that you're watching on YouTube, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification notification button so that way you get reminders of um the reading and um if you're watching this through facebook then um be, most likely i'm going to share it from my instagram to my facebook so you could either um follow me on instagram or you can actually click on the youtube link in my instagram profile and um just click the notification on YouTube so I have them all linked together. Um, I can't really share this to Twitter just by, I can only share the YouTube link to my Twitter, but most people from Twitter won't re click on the link. So um, the best way for me to know to continue doing these videos is of course by your interaction and your feedback. So of course, please comment, uh, please like, uh, please share. Um, so that way I know it's getting out there. And um, yeah, that would be it for for that part. Again, if you want personalized or uh, personalized readings and things for you, please contact me. We'll arrange it. We can do it through uh, PayPal or if you're in, local in my area, I could always come to your place or we'll find a place to do it. Um, so thank you on that. So I already pre-shuffled and I laid my um, cards out on the table. I don't have enough space to like be able to show the table and everything that I'm doing. Um, so anyway, first card is, um, it says, faith is the power of creation that all humans have. On the back of it, it has a little message. It says, if we invest our faith in a lie, that lie becomes truth for us. If we believe we are not good enough, then thy will be done. We are not good enough. If we believe we will fail, we will fail because that is the power of magic of our faith. The power and magic of our faith. So in this, there's a couple crows in the back, and then there's a crow here in the forefront going to the sun. Usually crows are symbolized as me omens or messengers of death. Death is necessarily not a bad thing. Death is uh, also a meaning of rebirth and resurfacing. And because it's flying to the sun, um, whoever, if this, this, this may resonate with some and may not resonate with some, but this bird is us, the representation of us. We're trying to be free and try to spread our wings and fly and try to get into enlightenment because we need energy from the sun. Also, the colors in the background are blue. Blue is the meaning of communication. Um, so a lot of us have trouble communicating with people around us or communicating within ourselves. And so we actually kind of lose the voice of God and the voice of the angels and guides and messengers that are around us all the time. Again, messengers, wings, angels, guides. Also, it's a little more orange down here orange has to deal with passion and desires and vitality and energy but also yellow does too so somewhere along here i'm gonna say that there's something lacking in the creative um, force that lies within you which actually is quite crazy because i didn't look at these cards to analyze them the next card is every human is an artist a storyteller with a unique point of view and the back it says, when we see ourselves as artists, we no longer feel the need to impose our stories on others or to defend what we believe. We know that every artist has the right to create his own art. So this is saying that you are the creator of your own universe. And whether you're a rap song or a novel or a movie or a painting or a drawing or whatever, whatever it may be, a presentation of an elegant, full course meal, which is also artistic, but... Anything that you have that's creative and within you, I urge you to pick up on things, whether you're a craft person, whether you're a writer, no matter what it is, I need you to pick up something that is creative for you because creativity and creating art 
is this is is the main thing when it comes to opening up to your spiritual being because God gives everyone a gift and you don't know what you have that's hidden until you start doing things. Instead of sitting in the back seat waiting for something to come and pick you up and bring you onto the stage, you need to get the fuck up and walk to the stage and shine. Sorry, I was a little forward and blunt. But in this picture, you see this woman holding this painting, but obviously you can see that the background is probably what's in this painting but you don't ever know what's behind this painting until she moves there could be a monster standing behind there there could be anything behind that but also because there's trees trees is the meaning of grounding yourself a lot of people are so out of balance and not grounded enough that they need to ground themselves but there's a lot of green in here and the green in here green is the color of the heart chakra so that means a lot of you have trouble finding out what's going on in your heart and where you really want to be. And because she's wearing a reddish shirt, the red shirt also is a color of ground and passion, vitality. And there's blues in here also, communication, yellow creativity. So there are gold, enlightenment. So you're re in order to find enlightenment, you need to A, ground yourself, go through that emotional healing, which is the water, step back and look at the bigger picture and stop focusing on the little minor, thing, minor things in your life that drive you crazy, you need to see the bigger spiritual purpose of everything. Next, is our emotions are real. The voice of knowledge that makes us suffer is not. And in the back it says our suffering is true, but the reason why we suffer may not be true at all. So that means you guys are stressing over the little things. Like there's a bird here. There's the heart. There's um, almost like a a geisha or something like that but these are three things father son holy spirit mind body spirit past present future um the blue also you know communication red grounding gold enlightenment bird being free seeing what your heart really wants being that majestical person in your life and having authority over your own life there's just so much that's that people start to lose themselves through things. So I need one more card, please, to close up the reading. That'll give some, the people something to think about. All of them fell out. Can't do that. To give people something to really think about for the next week. That's the card that jumped out. Wow. Beautiful. The card says, I love myself unconditionally. Purple is the color of the crown chakra, which means opening up your crown to the world, to the universe, to the galaxy, to God, to the angels, to your guides. And also because there's a lot of green and yellow in here. There's a lot of yellow is a symbolism of um, your gut intuition. Green is the color of your heart. So it's, uh, it's saying that you need to follow your heart and follow your gut and stop being in your mind because you're overthinking you're being over practical you're just thinking about all these different strategies and sometimes you think too much to the point where it just becomes chaos and you don't know where to go you don't know what to follow so start learning to follow your gut and your heart a little bit too with your mind get it mind body spirit heart is the spirit mind is that and then your gut is your body they say your gut is the most important part because that's where everything stems from is your digestive system. You are what you eat. So like if you eat healthy, you have better results. If you exercise, you have better results. If you eat crappy and don't exercise and don't take care of your health, it fucks your gut system up. And when your gut system fucks up, it fucks everything else up. So start eating better. Start exercising. Start walking. Start meditating. Pick up an art hobby. Start getting your shit together. It's, it's, there's too much chaos in this world right now for, for everyone to be falling apart. It's a domino effect. Pass on, pass it on. Just keep spreading and sharing love and encouragement and patience and, you know, let people know that it's, it's, we all have one life to live and we need to live it now because what happens is a lot of people get stuck in the past and they can't be in the present. And a lot of people think about the future so they're stuck in the future, but you're not there yet. You need to be present in order to work on everything to get to the future. So breathe, calm yourself, ground yourself, and get it together.
So remember guys, please like this video, share it, subscribe to me, follow me, click the notification buttons and let people know I'm here and I really do have a gift and most people choose to um, look the other way and not see what I'm trying to say, but really I can help a lot. So, um, also if you want personal services, please contact me. We'll discuss something. Thank you.